Hello everybody, welcome back again. As I promised you in the previous video regarding MACD backtesting strategy, in this video I'm going to show you the code written in MQL5 step by step and you leave you the link to download this uh, expert advisor in the description so you can watch it and uh, go through it step by step too. But I highly recommend you to start writing the code by yourself because I'm pretty sure that you can write it much better than me and more efficient what I than what I wrote here. Uh, if you have any suggestion uh, for me and any topics that you want me cover, please leave me a comment and I will read them and consider them for upcoming uh, videos. Now, I just briefly explain you the strategy. Uh, we already explained it, but again, we explain it too again. Uh, we have MACD indicator here. This MACD indicator has uh, two uh, um, uh, two uh, attributes. The first one is the histogram, which is the blue one, and the second one is the signal line, which is the green one. When both of them are positive, it means we are only allowed to send a buy order. When both of them are negative, it means we are only allowed to send a sell order. Uh, when we are in the positive area, it means only buy uh, order area, and the blue the blue one, which is the histogram, crosses the green one upside, it means we should send a buy order. For example, here in the for this candle and this bar here, uh, and for this one, the blue one is below the green one. And for the next one, for the next candle, the green one is above, the blue one is above the green one. So we send a buy order order we open a buy order but for example here in this case where we are in the selling area in the negative area uh, we are looking for crossing over to the downside so here for example in this case uh, the green one which is the histogram uh, the blue sorry the blue one which is the histogram is above the green one and for next candle the blue one is below the green one and we are crossing the green one downside and we open a sell order this is how the strategy uh, is written uh, this is strategy the, in the code this is the code in MACD strategy the main body of the code is here in the void antique this is the main body but we have used three function these three functions are important to know how they are working uh, I Go through them from uh, from the button. The first one is is new candle. It sends a true at the beginning of each candle. I want to use it because I want to restrict my code to open only one order per candle. Uh, and then this one is the lot size calculator. I use it to calculate the optimum lot size. For example, I want to open a sell order and uh, with this take with the stop loss, how much lot I should open to in order to, if I hit the stop loss, I only lose 1% of my balance. This function does it for us. But uh, the most important and relevant function to this video is this one, MACD calculator. In the MQL5, we don't have MACD calculator. We should calculate MACD with this code here. I took it from an article, actually this article here, this article from MQL website itself, mqlwebsite.com, in, in articles, article uh, 10674, uh, uh, written by this engineer. Uh, if we go down, it he explains very well. I I suggest you to read it completely, but if you go down, 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 um, and furthermore, here you have the code how to calculate uh, MACD. It is a little complicated, uh, but this approach is actually in the MQL5 is common for all indicators. Uh, but instead of using it, I define this function MACD calculator so it would be much easier for us to uh, use it how we are using it first you should add this function to the bottom of your code and then you can use this MACD calculator I just say for example here I want to uh, 
call this function I uh, call this function it is MACD calculator and when you call it it has inputs you can see the inputs here the first the first input data type is boolean and it says that true for histogram false for signal if you want this function return the histogram value uh, just write uh, true and if you want this function to returns the uh, signal line just enter false here so for example i want a histogram i say i write true like that then comma then the second one is string it should be symbol the, for the symbol i say for the current symbol i want to calculate it then a, it is the period i want to calculate for period current the, the current time frame then I want to apply it and calculate MACD based on the close price of each candle. I choose close. You can choose the others too, like for example, open uh, or high or low. Then we have fast EM, uh, E exponential moving average period. For example, I want it to be 15 then uh, or 12, for example. I want it to be 12. Then uh, slow exponential moving average I want it to be 26 and then a signal simple moving average period which I want it to be 9 and then shift if shift is 0 then it will calculate both uh, histogram and uh, signal line for the first candle if we put shift uh, 1 then it will calculate both of them for the second candle and if you put two it will calculate it for the third candle so this is the shift of, for, for the shift I usually use one and two because I want to do the calculation for the second and third candle because the first candle is fluctuating it is fluctuating and uh, it's not uh, uh, constant and so uh, it may return so I usually do it for the second and third candle and the last one is buffer buffer is by default 10 but you can ask for 20 uh, but if you put 10 this shift cannot be 11 because it just uh, calculate uh, this MACD's uh, the signal and histogram for the last for the previous 10 candle uh, we are using it because we don't want to occupy a lots of memory uh, normally we don't need, need more than 10 but if you need it so please just increase it you don't even need to enter it because by default it has 10 this is how the, this function works and now we go to the main body of the code the main body of the code is here very important to first include the trade uh, uh, class and uh, position info is very important but honestly here we are not using it but I explained it to you how you can use it in the C class video I leave you the video here you can watch it too uh, I defined three inputs for the periods of uh, the MACD 12 the, by default they are 12 26 and 9 but in the back testing video you uh, notice that we are we change them to find the best combinations of them then the risk person is one person I defined it as an input input double risk person is equal to one person then risk to reward is by the, the, the initial value is one we can change it time frame I define it here then the lot size I uh, it is zero one uh, then take profit stop loss stop loss point it is 100 points when I open an order I want the stop loss be 100 below the entry point or if it is a cell I want the stop loss be 100 above the entry point you can change it too you can you can uh, call it as an input and in the optimization uh, part you can find the best stop loss points there too for uh, your share and your time frame then in the main body in the main body which is uh, running for each price tick each whenever the price changes this code run once I have one histogram to histogram and uh, one MACD signal 
two MACD signal. This is for second candle. This is for third candle. You can see that they all are these two are completely the same. Only the uh, shift here is one because I want to calculate for the second candle, and shift here is two because I wanted to calculate uh, the signal for the histogram for second candle. And for signals, as you can see here, the first input is false because I want to calculate the signal, and then the the other parts are the same. Uh, and uh, this is shift here is one because I want a signal for the second candle. Shift here is two because I want it for the third candle. And buffers are five. By default, the buffers are ten, but I still want uh, to save more space in the memory. That's why I want the buffer to calculate it for five uh, previous candles. Then I add ask and bits here. And again, we have an if condition here. And it says, whenever is new candle function in the current time frame is true, which is at the beginning of the candle, then you are allowed to open a trade. Trade is allowed, is true. It means you are allowed to trade because I use this variable in this if condition to uh, uh, to uh, actually, I have not used it, but uh, you can use it too if you want to uh, restrict your code to be run only once per each candle. You can just easily add it like that. This is if uh, is new candle, you can restrict your code like that. So this is it. But I suggest you to use to do it by yourself. I remove it. Uh, then, if histogram and MACD, both of them are positive, and at the same time, this condition is correct, what is this condition? It says the MACD histogram crosses the signal histogram to the upside. If MACD for the third candle, if the histogram for the third candle is less than his signal for the third candle, and histogram for the second candle is greater than signal for the second candle open a buy order and here if both histogram for the second candle and signal for the second candle are below uh, are negative and at the same time the histogram crosses the signal downside open a sell order how we define crossing to the downside it is defined here when the the second the histogram for the third candle is greater than the signal for the third candle and histogram for the first candle for the second candle sorry is less than signal for second candle then go and open a sell order this is how this this strategy is implemented and i back tested uh, it in the previous video. You can uh, write it too. I highly recommend you to uh, learn algorithmic trading and programming it with MQL9, which is basically the C, the, the C++. Uh, if you are not familiar with it, I leave you the link to the complete tutorial of MQL5, uh, MQL algorithmic trading here again. Uh, and please, if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button so whenever so youtube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics too i hope you enjoyed this video wish you good day goodbye